Hello friends, this video on Rational Numbers Part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So this is how we compared rational numbers. Now we will see if there exist rational numbers between rational numbers. So if I pick two rational numbers and if I ask you do we have rational numbers existing between them, then what happens? Let us look at this number line. So when you look at this number line, if I tell you how many whole numbers exist between two particular whole numbers, let's say one whole number is 0, the other whole number is 2. If I ask you how many whole numbers exist between 0 and 2, so what will you say? There is only one whole number between 0 and 2, that is 1. Similarly, if I ask you how many whole numbers exist between 0 and 50, so then in that case also you would say that there are fixed number of whole numbers starting from 1, 2, 3, 4 till 49. So those are the numbers which exist between 0 and 50, right? So between any two whole numbers, so if you compare any two whole numbers, so what do you see? That there are fixed number of whole numbers between them. So there are between two whole numbers, fixed number of whole numbers exist. Okay, now let us talk about two integers. So if we ask you how many integers exist between two integers, let's say we talk about minus 3 is an integer and plus 2 is another integer. So how many integers exist between them? 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 integers exist between minus 3 and 2. Similarly, if I ask you how many integers exist between minus 30 and plus 24. So there are also you have fixed number of integers which exist between these two. So that means between two integers, fixed number of integers exist. Right. Now if I ask you between two rational numbers, so let us say, we let, let's take an example. Let us talk about, so let us take example of two rational numbers. Let us say, uh, we know that, z, let, let's talk about 0 and 3. So how many rational numbers do you think exist between 0 and 3? So let's not try to count how many rational numbers. Okay, so 1 is a rational number, perfect. 2 is also a rational number, that's also true. Now let me name some random rational numbers. 3 by 2, so 3 by 2 is nothing but 1 and a half. So 3 by 2 also exists somewhere here. So this is 1 and, a, 1 and a half or 3 by 2. So 3 by 2 exists here. You talk about 5 by 2 which is 2 and a half. So 5 by 2 exists somewhere here. You talk about 3 by 4. So 3 by 4 exists somewhere between 0 and 1. Maybe somewhere here. So here you have 3 by 4. You talk about 5 by 4. So 5 by 4 also exists somewhere here. Now these are some random rational numbers that I am talking about. But basically this type of rational numbers you have many many more which exists between 0 and 3. For example, if you multiply this 3 by 2 by 2 both numerator and denominator. So what do you get? When you multiply the numerator and denominator by 2, you get 6 by 4. So 6 by 4 is also a rational number which exists between 0 and 3. So in this fashion, you can have n number of rational numbers existing between 0 and 3. So you can say that there exists unlimited number of rational numbers between any two rational numbers. Whether you talk about 0 and 1 or you talk about 3 by 4 and 5 by 4, between any two rational numbers you have unlimited number of rational numbers so this is one way in which it is different from whole numbers or integers because for whole numbers and integers you have fixed number of whole numbers or integers existing between two numbers but that is not the case for rational numbers so let us try to find rational numbers between minus 3 and minus 2 so let us see how do we find rational numbers between two numbers so let's see how do we proceed about it. Now what are the two given numbers between which we have to find out rational number? One is minus 3, the other one is minus 2. Now let's see how can we write minus 3 in some other form such that we have the form of a rational number like a denominator and a numerator. So minus 3 is nothing but minus 3 divided by 1. 
So what we do if we multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2? So why do we do this? That's because minus 3 is minus 3 by 1 and minus 2 is minus 2 by 1. Now when you locate them on a number line like this, let's say this is 0, 1, 2, 3 and this side you have minus 1 minus 2 minus 3. So minus 2 is minus 2 by 1 minus 3 is minus 3 by 1. So you really with with these forms minus 3 by 1 and minus 2 by 1 you really do not get any number which is there in between. But just see the magic what happens. The moment you multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2 for both the numbers what happens you get this as minus 6 by 2 and this becomes minus 4 by 2. So basically minus 6 by 2 and minus 3 are equivalent. Similarly minus 4 by 2 and minus 2 are equivalent. Right? So we can very well write minus 2 as minus 4 by 2. So now if I ask you that can you write numbers between minus 6 by 4, minus 6 by 2 and minus 4 by 2. So what lies between these two? So just focus on the numerators. You have minus 4 by 2, minus 6 by 2. So between minus 4 and minus 6, you would have minus 5 by 2. So you found a number that exists between minus 3 and minus 2. So minus 5 by 2 must be existing somewhere here. But in this case, with this, by multiplying the numerator and denominator by 2, you could only find one rational number between minus 2 and minus 3. Now if you want to find more rational numbers, what can you do? So instead of multiplying the numerator and denominator by 2, you can multiply it with a bigger number. That is what you can do is you can multiply the numerator and the denominator by 3. Let's see what happens. How many numbers do we get if we multiply the numerator and the denominator by 3? So we get this as minus 9 by 3 and this is minus 6 by 3. So what exists between minus 6 and minus 9? So between these two numbers, minus 9 by 3 and minus 6 by 3, what all exists? Minus 7 by 3, minus 8 by 3. So you see in this case, you could find two numbers. Now you might say that these numbers and these numbers are not equal. So they will not be equal because between minus 3 and minus 2, there exists infinite number of rational numbers. So there are an uncountable number of rational numbers. So we just need a couple of them out of those. So you see when you multiplied it with a bigger number your options increased that is you could find more numbers now in this case you could find two numbers. Now let us even try another option wherein we multiply the numerator and the denominator with a yet bigger number. So let's divide the numerator and denominator by 4. So what happens in this case this is minus 12 by 4 and here it is minus 8 by 4. So what all can exist between minus 8 and minus 12? Minus 9 by 4, minus 10 by 4, minus 11 by 4. So basically what do you learn from this? You see that the moment you need some numbers between two numbers, some rational numbers between two numbers, you need to increase the scope of those numbers. Like with minus 3 and minus 2, you could not find even one rational number. When you multiply the numerator and denominator by 2, you could find one rational number. When you multiply the numerator and the denominator by 3, you could find two rational numbers. When you multiply it by 4, you could find three rational numbers. So depending on how many rational numbers you want to find between two numbers, you can multiply the numerator and the denominator of the number by a bigger number. So when you multiply it with a bigger number, your scope increases, you get to find more and more rational numbers between those two existing numbers. So let us try one more exercise. Find rational numbers between minus 1 by 2 and 2 by 3. So how do we do this? So here also we will follow the same tactic. So we will try to change both these numbers that is minus 1 by 2 and 2 by 3 into the same denominator form. And how do we do that? Again the same concept of taking LCM. So this is one number, this is another number. What would be the LCM of the two denominators that is LCM of 2 and 3 will be equal to 6. So what is that number if you multiply both the numerator and denominator by a number such that the result of the denominator is 6. So that number would be 3 because 2 into 3 is 6. So numerator also you will multiply with 3. 
so you get minus 3 by 6. Similarly, in this case, what is that number which when multiplied by 3 gives you 6? Nothing but 2. So numerator also multiply by 2, so you get 4 by 6. So in this case, you get minus 3 by 6 and 4 by 6. So these are the two numbers that you get. So basically, we need to find numbers which lies between minus 3 by 6 and 4 by 6. Now, minus 3 by 6, this is a negative rational number. So it definitely lies on the left side of 0. So maybe where would it lie? Minus 3 by 6 is nothing but minus 1 by 2. So minus 1 by 2 would be somewhere between 0 and minus 1, maybe somewhere here. So here you would have minus 3 by 6. And what about plus 2 by 3? So plus 2 by 3 would lie somewhere between 0 and 1. So maybe somewhere here you have plus 2 by 3. So you see just within this much distance you have you can have so many numbers because here the denominators are same. So you basically need to find numbers which lies between minus 3 and plus 4. So basically so you see you have so many options minus 2 by 6, minus 1 by 6, 0, plus 1 by 6, plus 2 by 6, plus 3 by 6 because my, between minus 3 and my, plus 4 you have minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So in this fashion you can get so many rational numbers that lies between minus 1 by 2 and plus 2 by 3. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.